I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper. Thank you for joining me here today. This is Ask Dr. Stacy, and this is a live Q&A that I host on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12.15 Eastern. That's 9.15 a.m. Pacific, and you can join us here Tuesdays and Thursdays. <clears throat> if you can't make at those times specifically, then by all means, all of these broadcasts are recorded, and you can also find them on my Facebook page. Just go to Lifestyle, and you'll see it right there, all linked by their topic that we cover, and you can search what you're looking for or information that you want to know specifically by the tags that are listed. If you're not on Facebook, not to worry. You can always find them on my YouTube channel. Just go to Dr. Stacy Cooper on YouTube, and again, all of the videos are recorded and provided there for you. So thank you for joining me here today. This is Ask Dr. Stacy. We're episode number 84, and we're going to be talking about energizing you. So um, there's some tips that I want to share with you. I am a health and wellness expert at Lifestyle Balance Solutions. That's drstacycooper.com is where you can find that. And also the Eating Blueprint, which is a module program that online that's available for you, as well as the two-day live event that I host called the Balanced Living Academy, where we balance all aspects of your life. And upcoming next week, I'm going to give you a little preview as to what we're going to be discussing, is taking charge of your scheduling and learning the plan. We have what I call hard entries and soft entries in your calendar, and I'll show you exactly what those are and how to implement them into your calendar so that you can find more time in your day, in your week, and in your life. And so it truly is a miraculous little tool that I teach in the Clean Living Formula. So that's going to be coming up next week. Thank you for joining me. This is a live Q&A chat, so by all means, put your questions right in the chat. I can see them here on the broadcast. If you have questions about energizing your body, nourishing your body, having your body function better with enhanced vitality, then by all means, pop your questions right in the chat here. And you can also email me directly through the website. Just go to Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com and you can email me there and you can send me any questions that you want me to cover upcoming topics that you would like me to share with you and I'd love to hear what you want to know about so today we're talking about energizing you so I'm just going to pop that up here in the screen energizing you naturally I am all about fueling your body better for better body function. I teach about swapping out the bad fuels for good so that your body can run like a high octane machine. We all know that if you put diesel fuel in a gasoline engine, it doesn't work very well, not effectively or efficiently. So the whole point is to understand the workings of the body on the inside because so many people eat the Big Mac, it goes in one end and comes out the other, and they don't think twice about what happens in between. And let me tell you, there is a lot that happens in between. So when you start to understand the inner workings of what happens inside, then I also show you how to swap out those bad fuels for good. Now it's so much easier to make your choices, and that's what I love to do and what I love to teach, what I love to achieve for body function. So energizing you naturally. One of the things that I'm going to cover today is your breath. And I'm not just talking about onions and garlic, but I'm talking about your breathing and how you use your breath and how your body functions because of the lack of oxygen that it may be receiving and that sort of thing. So here's some information about how your body works on the inside. We think, a lot of people think, that their energy comes from the stuff they take in, the food that they take in, the energizing fuels, which caffeine, I'm sorry to say, is not an energizing fuel. And you can find out more about that in my free two-part video series. Just go to the website, drstacycooper.com, and right there is a two-part video series that's available to you for free called Eliminating Your Hidden Energy Drainers. Check that out and you'll know the truth about caffeine and what you can swap out for that and have your body start to function better. So energy does not just come from the foods that you eat. It's actually coming from the air. If you don't breathe any air, then there's no oxygen in your system and then there is no energy production. Zero. Done. 
So air is truly important and how we breathe is even more important. So as you're sitting and you may be at your desk, you may be eating your lunch right now, or you may be sitting somewhere, possibly watching this presentation. As you're sitting, I want you to reflect right now to your body and see how it is that you're breathing, just as you're sitting still. Just as you breathe in through the nose and as you're sitting, do you notice much movement in your body at all? Is anything truly moving when you're breathing? If not, then generally you're breathing from the top third of your lungs. This is not the best place to be breathing from. It's very shallow breathing. It's very much in the upper lobes of the lungs, and it doesn't get deep down into the lungs and into the lung tissue. And in the lungs is where there are so many capillaries, blood vessels, that come in intimate contact with the lining of the lung. And that is the place where oxygen exchange occurs. Exchange, oxygen comes in through the breathing apparatus, so your mouth and nose goes down through the trachea into the lungs and then the oxygen has to be absorbed into your bloodstream so that the blood that's the highways and that's the delivery system for everything for your vitamins minerals nutrients the blood carries everything to every single cell of your body so it's truly important for the oxygen to get into your blood first from your lungs and secondly to get transported by your blood to even as far away as your baby toe because energy production is necessary at the cellular level. That's where it happens. Energy production doesn't happen in the stomach from the food that you eat. That food that you eat has been broken down into its tiniest particles and those too are absorbed into the bloodstream and distributed to cell in your body and it happens at the cellular level. So if stuff isn't getting transported and absorbed the way that it should, like in intestinal issues where gluten may be coating the intestines and providing a barrier and things aren't getting absorbed. Many, many, many different issues, but that's another story. So we're talking about oxygen. So we need the oxygen to be absorbed from the lungs into the blood and transported to as far away as your baby toe. Then the oxygen has to be able to be picked up by the cell and taken into the cell our energy production happens. So if your breath and your breathing is only happening in the top, top, top lobes, of really oxygenating your body well. So now I want you to put your hands on your abdomen just as you're sitting. You're just going to place your hands right on your abdomen. And now I want you to take a deep, deep, deep breath in. And I want it so deep that you feel your abdomen push outwards. Now, it's not you actively pushing your abdomen outwards. As your lungs fill, they take up space in your upper body, in your thoracic spine, in your, under your rib cage. When they do that, the diaphragm that sits right underneath the lungs has to drop down. As it does that, it pushes the abdomen out. Everything is fluid and dynamic and everything shifts and changes. So that mechanism works. So you want to be breathing. So when you're feeling low and tired, perhaps in any part of your day, if you want to re-energize yourself without having to exercise at that specific moment, then do some belly breathing. So now I'm going to teach you right now how to do some belly breathing. So a great way to energize and get more oxygen deep into your lungs and to get it transported through your body so that your cells aren't starving is to do some belly breaths. So you're going to breathe in through your nose for a count of, today we'll do seven. Then you're going to hold it for a count of five. And then you're going to exhale longer than you inhaled through the mouth. And we're going to do that for a count of nine. So you're going to breathe in for seven, hold it for five, and exhale for nine. That's what we're going to do. Now, don't worry if you can't do what, the pattern that I'm suggesting. Make your own pattern, which is similar. So you're going to breathe in for a period, hold it, 
and then breathe out longer than what you breathed in. That's what we're gonna do. So right now, let's do it together. We're gonna breathe in through the nose for a count of seven. Ready? Hold. And exhale for nine. There. And repeat that two or three times. Now be sure you don't get lightheaded or anything like that as you're blowing off carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sorry. But you want to energize your system. And also when you're taking that deep breath in, you're going to feel the abdomen move. And that is when you're energizing deep into your lungs. So this is a great energy booster that you can incorporate any time in your day. In times of stress, it's a great calming mechanism as well because it stimulates the parasympathetic system and helps to calm everything. So <clears throat> I encourage you to be how your body's functioning, how you're actually breathing, and when you incorporate more oxygen into your body, as you know, you can only survive minutes without air. You can only survive three days without water. And you can survive quite a long time without food because of our energy stores in our body, the adipose tissue, the fat tissue. So we do have reserves of energy in our body and your body can pick away at all different kinds of systems to get energy if it desperately needs to, but you can only survive minutes without air. So it's truly important. If you want to experience better energy levels and better body function naturally, then start with your breath. And this topic specifically is available to you in more depth on my free video series. Just go to drstacycooper.com. I'll put that right up here for you. You can go to Dr. Stacy Cooper, enter your name and email address there, and you will immediately receive the free two-part video series, Eliminate Your Five Hidden Energy Drainers. Yes, five. I cover five different topics of how to eliminate your hidden energy drainers, and the breath is one of them. So take a peek in there, and you'll find out what the other four are. There's also a great mind map that you can utilize, which is a free download. Print it off. Put it somewhere prominent in your home, whether it be in the bathroom, on the mirror, or on the refrigerator door, just as a gentle reminder because it will show you what you may consider to be energy boosters, and I'll cover those myths, and you will truly know what are energy boosters for your body. So we'll eliminate and show you how to boost your energy now. So you can pop that anywhere that you want. So just visit the website, drstacycooper.com, and you can get that for free. So let's do it again one more time. In for seven through the nose, hold for five, and out through the mouth. Ready? And. Hold. And out through the mouth. Great. As you expel all the air and pull the abdominals right in tight to the spine, every little molecule of breath out of those lungs, so you use them again with brand new breath. So that is another step that you can take for an energy naturally. And by all means, take a peek at the Facebook page, Lifestyle Balance Solutions. Hit the like button there. See the other episodes that we've provided there for you of valuable content. And if you like what you see, please send a heart or share it with your friends. I would truly appreciate that. You can also find me on YouTube. Just go to Dr. Stacy Cooper on YouTube and all the episodes are available there for you too. So thanks for joining me here today and here's to your enhanced vitality naturally and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.